Hey kiddos, it's your grandpa Sam. I want to tell you about bass string muting today. I've heard that a lot of your guys' bass strings are ringing out all willy-nil. And if you're cool with that, fine, I'm cool with it too. You can click away from this video. But if you're not cool with that, stick around. I'm going to learn you something. First of all, before we talk about the neeks, that's short for techniques, I'm going to be using the word neeks from now on in my videos. Now before I give you the neeks, let me give you some examples of how bass string muting can improve your clarity. I'm going to alternate between two chords. The first time I do it, I'm going to let my bass notes ring out all Okay, but the second time, I'm going to clean it up with some choice mutes. Wow, doesn't that suck? Check this out. Wow, that doesn't suck. Clean as a whistle. In order to level up and acquire this particular skill, you're going to have to master two techs. The first will allow you to mute the string that's ringing out above the bass note you intend to play. Above as in further from the floor, closer to your face. When I play the E chord from earlier, it makes my low E string ring out. Now when I set up for the next chord, look where my thumb is. It's like really close to the low E string. Okay, so close that I could, I could very easily just rock the finger back a little bit and mute the E string. And then I'm still set up to play my A chord. Now I'm doing this all the time. I'm, dude, I'm like, I'm constantly doing this. I'm doing this all the time when I'm playing. Uh, so much so that it's like second nature. I barely even think about it anymore. First, you want to work on this without the chords, just with the thumb, just to make sure you're doing it right. Alternate between playing the E string, and then simultaneously preparing the thumb to play the A string while you mute the E string, and then play the A string. And that's it. I'll do it again. I prepare and mute, play the A string. The mute happens almost instantly, but slightly before you play the A string, just a split second before. Oh, yeah. So go back and forth between these until it feels comfortable and easy, and only then do you want to add any additional notes or chords. Easy breezy. Now let's reverse that and learn the second technique. This tech will allow you to mute a string that's below the string you're playing. Not in pitch, but below, like closer to the floor. So if you want to mute the A string while you're playing an E string, you would use this technique. I should also note that either of these techniques only actually work on strings that are next to each other. So this wouldn't work on, you know, jumping from the, the low E string to the D string or vice versa. It just wouldn't, you can't cross strings with this. But that aside, check this out. Did you catch what I was doing there? I bet you did. I was doing rest, rest strokes, strokes with my thumb. Sick. Now this is actually something I didn't really get used to until like way down the line. I'd say within the last maybe like five years or so. It's still pretty tricky. It requires that this part of my thumbnail is, is very specifically filed and that my hand is in a good position. If my hand is leaned back too far like this, that I can't do it. My, my nail will just catch. So I have to be out a little bit further for it to work. So you might have to experiment with these elements yourself to find the, the right uh, thumbnail shape and the right hand position. So this might seem obvious to you by now, but Check it out, I'll get the A string ringing. And then when I play the E string, naturally my thumb just falls down into the A string and mutes it. And as with the other example, you wanna make sure you can do it just on the bass strings without adding any extra notes yet. So now I'll show you with the full chord. Cool. So now we've come full circle, okay baby? It's ready to do the full cycle. So we're gonna alternate between doing the rest stroke with the thumb and then doing the little mute with the top of the thumb. I play the first chord, the second chord with a rest stroke, the 
first chord again, but right before I play it, I do that first mute with the top of my thumb, and I play, and I go back and forth. Don't you love it? Remember to always practice this stuff slow and patient because patience equals progress. Now listen, I know that your thumb is probably tired from all these bass note plucks and mutes. Hey, I understand, buddy. I was there once. This stuff was kind of weird and hard for me. Let me give you a little rest and do something with your index finger. That's right. Put your hand on that mouse and then slide that boy over to that subscribe button. And give it a bump, okay? You could also hit the bell if you want, if you want to get when I upload a video, which is going to be more often now, I promise, I swear to God. Peace, bud. Gotta go.